All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the time of the night. It is your co-main event of the evening. This fight, no doubt, is going to raise the roof of this motherfucker, so make some noise in here! Well, this fight, three by three minute round in the welterweight division. Proudly sponsored by Punish Fight Gear and Nutrition. Coming to us first out of the blue corner, please make welcome Cassidy Haberfield. His opponent fighting out of the red corner. Please make welcome back to the aggression arena, Josh the Boss King. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, co-main event of the evening. This is this fight taking place in the welterweight division. Three by three minute rounds, proudly sponsored to us by Punish Fight Gear. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man has been campaigning across Queensland and Australia and brings to us a sensational undefeated record. Last time weighing in at 65.8 kilograms. Trained by Mark Warren and Jun Lee out of Gold Coast Martial Arts. 13 fights for 13 wins. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Aggression Arena. Cassidy Haberfield. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This young man has brought nothing but excitement to center ring and already massing a fight record of 42 fights. This young man weighed in last night at 65.4 kilograms. Trained by Jason King and the team out of Kings Muay Thai. He has 42 fights for 37 wins. Two coming by way of knockout. Representing the Gold Coast Queensland. Please welcome Josh the Boss Kang. Your referee for this bout is Marcus Burgess. Both fighters, Waiku Ramoy. Let's get ready oh, to mate, bang. I've, been, I've been looking forward to this one. I don't think all of Queensland has been looking forward to this one. Josh King doing what Josh King does best, and that's be in the ring fighting. Yeah. We are seconds out. Cassidy is definitely on some 
glorious weight cut. Like, this is aggressive Muay Thai. Let's bang. But he's a round big one. 65. chance to do some some light work with uh, Cass when I was extremely a thousand kilos yep. and uh, the dude is just such a strong human hey um, even in the clinch like he's just so much strength about the man it was, it was good to see and seeing he's only had 13 fights it's a good dense muscle yeah good old muscle not not just for show yeah it's like functional muscles. It's glorious. And his head, too, is like shaved perfectly that it comes out feeling like razor blades up your face. <laughs> Both boys looking for the elbows early. Yeah. Clayton Collier calling out from the corner. B first to Joshy. Doesn't mind the one two elbow. Cass will fire back. I feel like if Marcus Burgess and Cassidy stood too close together, we're going to get some terrible flashback on the cameras. <laughs> Good reaction time there from the King. Both boys very relaxed in the clinch. Composed. Looking for that explosive power. They're, look, they're making their shots count. That's what I like. Yeah. When, when these shots land, they're going to do some damage. And of round one, this fight is proudly sponsored by Punish Play for Nutrition. nutrition. Yeah. All tonight's fighters are wearing the Punish Gloves. Very tough one to call. Could have gone either way. I think both boys are going to, you're just going to have to balls to walls for the next two rounds and absolutely dominate it. You know, like, both. Yeah. Too hard to call, really. Uh, I feel maybe Josh at certain points was knocking Cass off of his axis, like there, landing nice shots. But then Cassidy had also returned fire, which had moved Joshy off of his axis in that. So, but Josh was always, when it's that close, I'd go Josh just for the pure fact that he was pushing the fight. He was putting the chase on, controlling where Cass is sort of walking. And I'd go to ring control on that, but I've also been known to be wrong once or twice. Boy, cool, I'm drinking so much wave. Natural energy. Makes me a better person, makes my vision clearer. Does it? 12 cans deep. It's the vitamin D, magnesium and B vitamins. And everything else. <laughs> Make sure you got a fresh cold beer for this one, folks, because there's two-minute rests. Professional Fighters ruling. Out. 
three minute rounds, two minute rates. Round number two, here we go. For round two. Again, return there from Josh King. That return definitely felt it. Beautiful professionalism there from Cass, not jumping on it. Good push kick to the face of yeah. Cass. Cass just flicks them teeps up to the face with ease. Definitely a specimen. He's got good flexibility, good fitness. Bit of claret coming from the nose of the Joshua King. That'll only make him come on stronger. Oh. You know, they say you make a ginger bleed. If he bleeds his own blood, hey. you're in trouble. The old Bruce Lee. <laughs> you make me bleed my own blood. <laughs> Cass landing some nice hands on Kingy there. Cass looking for the elbows. Looking for that the upper car. elbows. Josh, Josh does really explode in behind those punches. Too much happening in the clinch. No. Marcus Burgess separates them. Nice leg kick there from Josh. I'd have me momentum flag in um, Cass's corner at the moment. I think I'd say Cass is winning this round. As Josh comes back to try and claim it. And round two. Cassidy Happyfield, Josh King in center ring. I'd love to see Cassidy do a total body composition, who is also one of our sponsors tonight. One of the great sponsors. Yeah, it'd be great to see the readings, which obviously is what these scans do. Give people great measurements to see what is actually going on within the body. Yeah. Tells you if you're favouring one side, if your right leg is 38 inches round and your left is only 28. It's like <laughs> or your right arm bigger than the left. Yeah. 16 year old fellas in, in, the, in a sauna trying yeah. to cut weight. Trying to cut weight. Yeah. Clayton Collier dropping some knowledge bombs onto Joshy. Great to see Clayton at the fights. Yeah. He's got he went, a good team around him, Josh. Went walkabout for a little while there, old Clayton. Building his, on his family business and building his home and family. It's good to see him back around. He's got a lot to share. Been yeah. around a long time. A fight through, through and through. Talk about tell, talk about fight anyone. Yeah. I remember hearing the story of when he went to Japan and he got told it was a 70 kilo fight. He got off the plane, they went, the promoter looked at him and said, get on the scales. 
He said, you're too heavy. And he's up at 69. He goes, what do you mean? This he goes, is the third. Fight's at 65. And so they threw round. him in the sauna and said, don't come out until you're at weight. Third and final round. The fight is proudly brought to you by Wadi Spring Water, which is what our fighters are running on tonight. Australian owns. Love the thought process that these boys are putting into their fights and their shots. Both strong in the clinch. Josh working more knees in this exchange. Yeah. Oh. Nice little body shot there from Cass. Jun Lee saying you better let that right hand go to Cass. Both boys exchanging heavy blows here. Third and final round, a minute 30 on the clock. Good body kick there from Josh. I feel like Cass felt that one. Josh coming on strong with the hands. Clayton saying, kick the ribs, kick the ribs. Cass returning with the elbows. Team to the face. Anything to keep the Ginger Ninja away. Good exchange of knees. Last 30 seconds, final round. Both boys trying to exchange massive teeth. Oh, ho, ho, yes! Co main event, Cassidy Abbeville, Josh the Boss King. What a fight! Cassidy and Jun are claiming it. What's your call on that one, Reese? I feel like Cassidy may have just edged it. He started to fade in that third. It'd be interesting to see them two go five rounds. But, you know, Cass has only had 13 fights, so I'm not sure as to how many professional tie fights he's had, if that's his first three minute or if he's had a lot of three minute rounds. But just, he sort of just seemed to me like he was starting to gas towards the end of that third round. Should be interesting, but oh, well, I think I think he's just edged it. Here we go to center ring for the official decision.
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after three vicious rounds of our co-main event, we have gone to the judges' scorecards. And once again, no doubt, it is a split point decision. Your first judge gave the fight 29-28 in favour of the red corner. Your second judge gave the fight 29-28 in favour of the blue corner. And your third and final judge gave the fight 29-28, declaring a winner by split points decision, the blue corner, Cassidy Harrowfield. Cassidy remains undefeated.